Hi guys, um, this weekend was my birthday, so I thought it'd be fun to do some birthday vlogs. Um, so yeah, started out on Saturday, the day before my birthday, did some fun um, thrifting and shopping and lunch with my mom and my sister Amy. So I took you along on that for a little bit, and then Sunday was my actual birthday. Um, so of course I had church and potluck, and then out to supper that night with my parents um, and Amy. And then just relaxing in the evenings, my favorite way to spend the evenings. I am genuinely a granny, so. Um, yeah, and then I took today, which is Monday, off. Um, so for my birthday, just to have a relaxing day and do pretty much whatever I want to do. Again, since I'm a granny, that's mostly going cons to consist of knitting, drinking coffee, and relaxing, and uh, plan to watch some movies maybe in the afternoon. So have a look-see about my weekend. <laughs> I'm going to show you everything I got. Oh my goodness, it's so much. So I have it grouped by store. Um, this is my Hobby Lobby finds. So um, just some fun random things. This extension cord, which is like braided fabric cover and it's like aqua, so it's amazing. I just couldn't resist it. And then these tea towels, we're 75% off because they're from the spring line and they're already, they already have out fall and Christmas. So these were being clearanced out. I just love them. The colors are so bright. My mom actually had a wonderful idea to make a bag out of them, to make some project bags. So I actually got a number of them. I got one for my sister Beth because I think she'll really like that. And then um, maybe I'll actually use one as a tea towel and then maybe make some bags out of the others. So couldn't resist. They were just so cute. Um, so fun with strawberries, bananas, watermelon. Is this dragon fruit or I think maybe passion fruit? I don't know. I get some of those mixed up. But anyway, just so cute. Such good colors. Um, and then they have these pink pumpkins and there's some like kind of rosy red pumpkins in there too. So I just love those. I'll probably um, just sprinkle them amongst my decor. I don't do a lot for fall, but when I found pink pumpkins, I couldn't resist those. And I got some fall washi tape for my um, packaging for orders. And I just love washi tape. It's just so much fun. And I liked how this even had a little pink pumpkin in it too. So it's fun. And then also this soap dispenser shaped like a vintage truck with pumpkins in the back. I actually have Oops, made myself a cup of coffee. I have the one with strawberries in the back that I got in the spring. And so I'll just swap that out for the pumpkin one here come fall, probably around September. Um, and then this cute little wooden sign looks like the back of a trunk, trunk, truck with pumpkins in. This is not fall. This is just cute um, wall art. I'm going to put that in the arrangement above my bed. Um, so look at Delphie, if he had more white on him, and if he brought me the newspaper, although I don't read the newspaper, who wants to read the news? But the cat eye glasses and the pajamas, it's just so cute and I love the colors. Um, and then also I got some yarn. So they have like kind of hand dyed looking yarn. Um, this one is called Redwood Roaming and I just really loved it with all the speckles. It looked really nice and autumnal to me. So I 
went ahead and got that. And then they had some dishcloth yarn, like their own brand. So I got three Christmas ones just for fun, because that'll be here before you know it. And then I got two that I thought would do well for fall. Um, and they're so cute. And then this one's actually kind of summery to me. It goes actually really well with this. So yeah. Um, some emery boards, nail files with cute little yarny theme. Love that. You can always count on Hobby Lobby for that. Oh, and also some Christmas washi tape. I can't resist vintage cars or trucks. Ooh, it's sparkly. I didn't realize that until I have it on the camera here. And then also practical things, some bag making supplies. So got some cord for drawstrings. And then they also had these really fun colors, nice cotton cord. So I got the minty and the pink. And then just practically speaking, I needed one of these um, rule things for uh, using the rotary cutter because I found that's much easier to cut out the fabric for the bags using that rotary cutter than scissors. Well, obviously it's easier when you're doing straight lines like that. And then they had this like fake fruit. Um, so they're just like foam. But I got the, a couple things of strawberries and a thing of clementines. Because um, I do have a little clementine box up there. It's the one that says baby. Right now there's some orange pot holders in there. Um, and then I have this cute strawberry box that my sister Kelsey found for me. And so I want to like pile them up in one of them so that you can see them kind of poking out. Um, the thing is actually full of the square strawberry boxes. So that will be fun. Okay, so that is what I got at Hobby Lobby. And then next, here is what I got at my two favorite thrift stores. So the first one, um, I got one vintage pattern. I just loved how this dress is like color blocked and just thought that'd be a really fun way to use up like smaller bits of fabric that you just really love that maybe go together well. It's is actually a bit too small for me, but I think it'd be pretty easy to size up a little bit. It's just a really simple dress, 60s. Um, and then this cute fabric. At first I thought it was umbrellas, but as I look closer, I can see it's actually dandelion seeds, I think. So um, either way, it's cute if it's umbrellas or dandelion seeds. You know what, maybe it is umbrellas. What are your thoughts? Dandelion seeds or umbrellas? Either way, it's cute and I love it. And it's so pastel and wonderful. And then look at these neat baskets. So these are for like putting a, a Pyrex pan in when it's hot, you know, you can put it in there. So the larger one has fruit on it and then the smaller one has vegetables on it. Just so cute and kitschy, I just love it. And then a little plastic basket whenever they have good colors, I can't resist those. And this little, Platter. It's kind of worse for wear. The design's kind of coming off, but I just really loved it. And um, yeah, it looks actually kind of Christmassy to me. Uh, and mid century looking. I love it. And then this little cherry magnet it needs a bath. It's a little dirty, but I just loved it. It's kind of like chalkware. And then also, I got these pajama pants, but I'm actually sorely tempted to wear them out of the house if they don't look too much like pajama pants. They're that real nice, like drapey, gauzy fabric. It's really comfy. So I actually don't know if they fit or not because they don't allow you to try on. Currently with COVID and everything, and actually I think they just like not having the dressing rooms open because they don't have to put all the clothes away. And I'm sure like people would probably like steal in there and stuff, which is terrible to steal from a well, it's terrible to steal it all, but especially from like a ministry like that, because thrift stores are always, you know, ministries generally. Um, and then look at this darling vintage purse. Turn my light on. That doesn't really help anything, but I just love it so much. It really, it's similar to that, but it's like got wooden sides. It's actually pretty spacious inside. Looks like someone's pen sprung a leak in there. But isn't it just darling? I love it. I think I'll actually use that one. A lot of times I like the idea of vintage bags, but I never actually use them. So, um, and then a couple other clothing items. I got like a little half slip that has, um, 
like a ruffle at the bottom. So we'll kind of poof out a skirt a little bit, which I just thought that was adorable. So, and then, okay, so at the other thrift shop that's like right next door to this one, um, I got this cute jean skirt with embroidery on it. So again, I don't know if it fits, but I just love it. Look at that embroidery. So it's pretty short. I'll probably wear it with leggings because it's pretty short. It's a teenager brand, American Eagle, and I am not a teenager. So I just couldn't resist that beautiful embroidery. And then a couple of vintage towels. So these are so fall. Um, I think I'll keep one for myself and maybe sell one. So it, they each have a border print like this. And then this is what the main body of the towel looks like. Is that all over print? Really good condition. Gotta love old Canon towels. I'm guessing maybe 70s or 80s on that. Not sure, but I just love it. And then these little cuties, um, this modern tone um, in the peachy pink. And I had my eye on these like for the past few times I went in there, but they were like $4.50 each. And I just thought that was kind of high, but everything was 75% off. So it was a good time to get those. And then I got this cute little children's book for my nephew, James, because he loves deer. And then a couple vintage hand towels. Aren't these amazing? These, sorry, I'll be keeping these, not selling them, because I adore them. So pretty. And then, don't mind my dishes, home goods. Okay, so I got this really nice blanket. I just love this. It's got nice big tassels, or tassels, as Mima would say. Uh, just like a pink, plasticky shower curtain liner. I just like that it was pink. Like, why not? Um, and then this cute fall pitcher. If you can't tell, I like vintage trucks. <laughs> and um, look at these cute little treat tins. So like could make some yummy fall treats and then give them away. Look, the one says happy fall y'all. And then a couple other designs with cute sunflowers. So those are fun. And then um let's see here uh strainer i love these looks like chicken wire to me with the bamboo handle and then some pastel -y sparkly gift tissue couldn't resist that and then these really cute little note cards with matching stickers or seals for the envelopes look at those chickens i love it so much this is actually a dream of mine to have a uh, a vintage truck and like sell produce and flowers out of the back maybe one day that'd be fun so that's what I got pretty happy oh I forgot to show you this I got this um, tractor rug I'm thinking my sister Beth will want it for her boys so um, either her or Kels for her boys and if neither one of them wants it I may just keep it because I love it <laughs> So a very profitable shopping trip for my birthday. Look, I'm really excited about this. I have a vintage Pyrex pan that fits perfectly into this. And this is not a nine by 13. It's kind of an odd size. So it's smaller than a nine by 13, maybe like 11 by seven or something like that. But isn't it great how it fits perfect? So I don't have anything that fits this smaller one. Uh, it would be something in between the two sizes of these. So have to keep my eye out for a Pyrex pan that'll fit that. Have to measure it and see what it actually is.
ready for the day. Got my makeup all put on. Doing my hair. Top knot piled high upon my head. <laughs> I wanted to show you I put the that little picture in the bathroom here. I really like it in here. It needs to go up a little. The nail that was there is just a little low, so I think I'll just bop it up a touch. But yeah. It's so cute. Beautiful day. Sun is shining. I'm going to make a cup of coffee. Alfie's having his morning water, aren't you, Alf? Oh my goodness, it's such a mess in here. I need to clean up a bit. Got my sewing stuff out still from cutting out bags. This is all in disarray. Look at this cute candle my sister Amy got me for my birthday. The candle is in the back here, under the pumpkins. And when the candle's gone, it'll still just be a cute little fall decoration. We always set our cards out on our birthdays. Still gotta put all this stuff away, oh my goodness. I actually like tidying. So I've got the day off today. So I am going to do whatever I would like today. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Sounds wonderful to me. So, some crafting. I think I may actually cast on a new project. Even though I'm not done with my blanket yet, I think I will cast on a special birthday project. Well, I mean, just, you know, birthday cast on. It's nothing to do with my birthday. Um, oh, these are some Pioneer Woman things my sister Beth got me for my birthday. Look at that. Is that not the cutest can opener you've ever seen? So how vintage it all is. And these neat snack bags too. Reusable plastic bags and they look like mason jars. So cute. And then this cute little whammy is from my sister Kelsey. I just am in love with this. Look at that sweet face. It's like chalkware, it's like plaster. I just adore it. 
not quite sure where I'm going to put him yet, but I love him. She also gave me these cute vintage glasses in the carrier. It's missing one, but that's okay. Still a pretty great find. Ooh, it's kind of stuck. So it's a family having a barbecue picnic. There's dad grilling some steaks very enthusiastically. My little brother has a hot dog on a stick. Mom's making a salad and his sister's setting the table, it looks like. So cute. Do you like those too, Al? Mr. Nosy? <laughs> oh, that's fun. Let's go my friend goes. Oh, Mom and Dad got me some chocolate fruit and a pepper to add to my little collection there. So that's fun. Okay, let's make a cup. things out because I don't know where to put them yet but oh, it's nice to have things a little bit tidy. So here's one project I hope to get done today. In fact I think I'll do it first. Um, I got these cute pictures from Raising Up Rubies and I bought these cheapo frames from Walmart that I'm going to put them in but of course I don't like plain wood, so I'm going to paint it. I'm thinking Annie Sloan um, in duck egg, which is my favorite. And I think that color would go really well with both of these. So I was thinking that, or Henrietta, or Antoinette. Hmm. There's so much pink in these though that I almost would rather do a contrast of duck egg. So, plus duck egg is like my favorite Annie Sloan chalk pink color. Actually, it might be my favorite color. So, that's what I plan to do. Here's my helper. Yes, I think this is gonna be perfect. Oh, I love this color. Okay, so I've decided to cast on the Zweig sweater today using my Wandering Flock Holograph Dreams yarn. For the contrast, I think I may just use a solid colored mini. Um, I actually need to figure out how much yarn that actually requires, but I'm thinking a solid color for the lacy bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this wound up. And I'm printing the pattern currently, so let's go get this wound up. I adore it. I love her illustrations. The designer. Oh, I forget her name. It's Caitlin Hunter, maybe? I'll look it up and pop it on the screen. But of Boyland Networks. Her little illustrations are just... I love them. So I'm just ready to settle down with my knitting. It's about 11 right now. I've actually got quite a bit done this morning, so that feels pretty good. Um, I'm planning to cast on my swag, uh, get a little bit going on that, and then um, around noon I'm going to run downtown to my favorite local coffee shop. Uh, I think I'll get a lavender and honey latte, and I think I'll get a sandwich too. They have some really yummy grilled sandwiches. Um, yeah, so just taking it easy today. I was halfway as tempted to stay in my pajamas, but since I want to run downtown, I figured I'd go ahead and 
and get dressed and sometimes it makes me feel blue to stay in my PJs all day so that's why I got dressed but comfy overalls nothing like it so and um minimal makeup like I didn't even put foundation on so that's why my nose is so red my nose is always red I don't know why um it's not sunburnt or anything it's just always red so my foundation helps cover that up but um yeah today I just don't really care so I'm gonna cast this on um yeah I don't think I have anything else to say right now brought my sandwich back home. I don't like eating by myself in restaurants. I don't know why. Ooh! Let's just put the paper. Oh, it looks so good. Let me tell you about it here. I've already <laughs> drank my whole latte. Let's see here. So this has ham, apples, forget what kind of cheese. Might be Swiss. And there is fresh thyme on it as well. It's just, it's really delicious. So, and I also ended up running into another store and got a couple candles. Let me go wash my hands. So I went in there looking for fall candles. This Buttercup Candles is a um, company here in Illinois. I'm not sure what town they're in, but they, I just love their candles. They always have the cutest packaging so they didn't have their fall ones in yet but they did have a crisp apple one so well of course you can't smell it but it smells really nice and then the donut shop one is really nice too and that was just like the cutest design on the tin so that's what i got i'm gonna eat this sandwich and i'm gonna watch a movie and do some more knitting <laughs>